guys welcome back to my channel for today's video i will be teaching you guys how to get these beach waves using a crimper before we get started i just want to let you guys know that i am not a professional hairstylist this is just what works for me i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started First of all, I don't wash my hair every single day. It usually takes about five days for my hair to be really greasy. The first thing I do once I'm done washing my hair is brush my hair. After I'm done brushing my hair, I use this coconut serum by OGX. I usually like to apply a small amount to my palm. I rub my hands together and run my fingers through my hair. Once I'm done with all that, I like to air dry my hair. I am gonna be using a brush to make sure my hair isn't tangled. I do try my best to not damage my hair as much. I do like to use a heat protector. This one's from Sunbum. Sunbum is a really, really, really good brand, especially their sunscreens. They're amazing. You have to shake it really good before using it. I mainly apply the heat protector towards the bottom of my hair. It was locked. The crimper I'll be using today is by Bedhead. It looks like this. I did get mine at Target and when you first get it, it's going to be locked. To unlock it, it's going to say lock, open. You're just going to slide it to open and then it should unlock. The on and off button is on the side. The temperature is on the side as well. I like to put mine on high, literally the highest. So that's what we're going to do. And let's turn this baby on. It does heat up pretty quickly, so be careful. If you're not comfortable with hair tools, I do recommend you using a heat protectant glove. This is basically a glove that helps your hand not get burnt. I don't think I'll be using this today. I'm pretty comfortable with hair tools like this. The first thing I do is part my hair in half. I like to start from the back and work my way to the front. When I'm sectioning off my hair, I don't like getting too much hair. You're going to notice that there's a flatter and a crimp side to the crimper. I like the crimp side facing up. Because the plates are really big, I don't like to start super close to the roots of my hair. I usually hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds to get more defined waves. When you let go of the crimper and move on to the next wave, you're going to start where you left off. This is difficult to explain, but I feel like once you're actually doing it, it'll make more sense. I did slow down and zoom in on a lot of the clips just so you guys can really see what I'm talking about and hopefully that gives you kind of an idea on what to do. For the bottom pieces, I do like to crimp those as well because if I don't, it'll look awkward. This is how my hair looks like so far. As you can see, they are kind of tight. Just keep them as is, clip them back, and move on to the next side. You're going to do the same thing you did to the left side. Make sure everything is aligned so it doesn't look uneven. My hand was hurting real bad, but don't forget to turn off your crimper when you're done. I don't want your house to burn down. Let your hair sit for about 5 minutes. 1 minute 37 seconds later. After the 5 minutes are done, go crazy with your hair. I like flipping my hair back and forth, back and forth. And I use this tail comb to comb down the front pieces of my hair. 
this got to be gel is my ride or die I love it so 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 much I usually like applying it where I have a lot of baby hairs and of course I love their hairspray when I apply the hairspray I usually like to scrunch up my hair with it as well And this, you guys, is how I get my beach waves using a crimper. I hope I explained myself good enough and I hope I didn't confuse any of you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!